2024, the term retro motorcycle can mean a lot of things, but few manufacturers take reviving and reimagining past models to the extremes that Praga does. While most mainstream retro motorcycles use thoroughly modern chassis designs, the Czech company's handcrafted ZS800 is a bold exception. It features a hardtail frame, girder fork, and drum brakes, all reminiscent of a bygone era. That certainly catches your attention. Regardless of your opinion on motorcycles that draw heavily on nostalgia, the ZS800 is impossible to ignore. This bike, loosely inspired by Praga's 1928 BD500, combines contrasting and daring engineering. It blends ancient design concepts with state-of-the-art materials and weighs barely more than a moped. Without any apparent compromises, it comes with a starting price of $98,500 €91,000. In case you didn't know, Praga, named after Prague, primarily produces extremely expensive road-legal hypercars like the 700-brake horsepower Bohema. However, in the 1920s, before World War II and the rise of communism, Praga built cutting-edge motorcycles like the BD500. The BD500 featured a four-stroke DOHC engine designed by young engineer Yaroslav Franisek Koch. In 1928, Koch demonstrated the bike's speed, reliability, and innovative design by riding it 1,480 kilometers (920 miles) from Rome to Prague in under 36 hours. The ZS800 is an exquisitely detailed homage to both the original 1928 bike and its era, crafted by Jan Zuzi, an engineer from the Bohema project. Zuzi, along with fellow engineer and motorcycle enthusiast Radek Sebesta, aimed to create a replica of the 1928 model using modern lightweight materials and technology. While the engine is an air-cooled parallel twin from the Kawasaki W800, the rest of the ZS800 is handmade and completely bespoke. The chassis boasts a chromolybdenum steel frame, forged carbon wheels with laced carbon spokes, and hydraulically operated drum brakes. The front features an Olin's activated girder system, while the rear has only an Olin's damped saddle on the hardtail frame. With extensive use of carbon and titanium, the ZS800 weighs just 142 kilograms, 313 pounds. Praga is limiting the ZS800 production to just 28 units, with five of them being special carbon editions priced at $106,900 euros). Our test bike was one of these five, and while an extensive high-mile road test wasn't feasible, Cycle World was invited to take the ZS800 for a brisk spin in the English countryside. On the road, Zuzi and his design team could have chosen almost any midsize engine for their BD500 tribute, but selected the air-cooled Kawasaki W800 power unit for its simplicity, aesthetics, and bevel gear-driven cam. The standard W800 produces 47 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 46.39 lbft of torque at 4,800 RPM. Praga claims the ZS800 generates slightly more power due to its freer-flowing titanium exhaust and revised fueling, with a quoted maximum of 50 horsepower. Jump on, carefully, ease into the beautifully formed single saddle, and the absence of bulk or mass is immediately apparent. The bars are wide like it's 1928 again, while the view of the ZS's intricate carbon detailing and titanium componentry moves you into a future world of undiluted ideas and extravagance. One press of the carbon starter button, and the usually muted long-stroke twin snarls into life. The twin exhausts, handmade, obviously, don't have a catalytic converter or any significant noise-canceling properties and are charismatically sharp as the throttle is blipped. There's no rev counter, just a perfectly judged analog speedo, in KM slash H, set into the headlight shell. Ease first gear home, open the throttle, and that lightness, 142 kilograms slash 313 pounds, dry, translates to acceleration that is notably livelier than the W800. I was initially a little thrown by the ZS800S sheer strangeness, but the W800 motor churns out a familiar spread of torque and pulls through the revs effortlessly, encouraging relaxed short shifts. There are no rider aids or traction control, not even ABS, but that tangible and delightful lightness adds an edge that makes overtaking that little bit easier than on a W800. The ZS is not fast, but it's certainly not slow either, and will surprise road users lucky enough to encounter one at the lights. 
Of course, all the time. There are eyes on you as you sit upright, arms spread, this near weightless jewel and sculpture below. As noted, the design team was inspired by Praga output of the 1920s, which explains the drum brakes, twin up front, single at the rear, while the front end is essentially a very old-school girder system. The drums are hydraulically activated, thank goodness, and that girder front end has a modern, fully adjustable Olean shock, complete with titanium spring, to manage the load. But the rear is an unadulterated hardtail. Any damping is done via the air in the rear Dunlop alone. Alongside all this rethought and updated old technology are some thoroughly modern touches, including lightweight 18-inch carbon wheels, complete with intricate carbon spokes, which save on unsprung weight, and a lightweight chrome molybdenum frame, which weighs about the same as the frame on a typical 125. The Springer front end has little to no dive, and in this respect is similar to the BMW system, but it's mesmerizing to watch the beautifully formed arms moving up and down as it controls road imperfections. Rider comfort is obviously heavily compromised by the absence of rear suspension, but the Praga isn't as punishing on poor surfaces as many hardtails I've ridden because under and connected to. The seat is an adjustable Olean shock that smooths the jolts transmitted into the bike by bumps in the road. If you move forward on the sculpted seat, there is less cushioning. But if you sit farther back, there's more leverage through the shock, and the ride is softer. And you don't get propelled out of the seat on the rebound, as you do on hardtails with crude bed springs under the seat to supposedly soften the blow. This isn't suspension, of course, as it has no effect on the rear tire's ability to find grip and traction, and at times I could feel the rear tire skip when I got a little carried away, quickly followed by a nervous twitch in my bank account. This is, however, a bike with a level of craftsmanship like no other on the market. The hand-woven carbon rims and delicate carbon spokes are works of art. The construction and welding on the frame must have taken days, if not weeks. Almost every screw, nut, and bolt is titanium, and the three-gallon tank is an integral part of the frame. The tank, you can see, is simply a carbon cover that hides most of the electrics and modern parts never thought of in 1928. Walking around the ZS, feasting on its contrary blend of obsolete ideas and radical new thinking, its execution and finish is as good as going for a ride. Verdict The ZS800 is eye-wateringly expensive, but not entirely alone in this sector. Californian Bike Builders Arch, fronted by Keanu Reeves, produced the hand-built KRGT, one which, while not a retro, is priced at $91,000 and Braff produces hand-built retro exotica in France, with prices at $77,000 and above. That said, there are those who are simply going to look at the price of the Praga ZS800 and write it off as a crazy indulgence. I understand but don't agree. For the few who are going to be lucky enough to afford the ZS800, this Czech masterpiece is not just a work of art but a motorcycle that works well for what it is. Skilled engineering and craftsmanship have been given the opportunity to shine. Archaic concepts such as drum brakes and hardtail chassis are rethought, updated, and given a welcome outing in 2024. Above all, Praga's enthusiastic and clever engineers have paid homage to the original BD500 with an unparalleled level of individuality and pride. Merely spotting one on the highway will be a miracle, and actually owning one a near impossibility. But we are very glad this superb Czech retro exists, 